Hey y'all, what's up? It's Tori Marie. I don't know what you do to me. Between me and you, I feel a chemistry. I won't let no one come and take your place. Cause the love you give, you can't be replaced. So go now. Hey y'all, um, today we're starting today's video in the kitchen because it's gonna be a cook with me. Um, so I'm doing fried chicken, macaroni and cheese, and I'm trying to decide whether I want spinach or green beans. I'm thinking spinach though because that sounds really good right now. So I think I'm gonna okay, I'm gonna do spinach if we have. If we have been, I'm gonna do spinach, but if not, then I'll do the green beans. But that's on today's menu. Um, so this is just the you know, beginning of the video. I just want to pop in and say hey. Um, so let's get started. Okay, first y'all, we're gonna start with washing our hands. Make sure you're washing your hands. Get a strainer. Strainer. Put the chicken in there. This is the chicken that I got. Yeah. Here is the calorie in the serving size for anybody who wants that. So we're going to open this up. Dump the chicken in there and wash it off. Um, I know some people don't wash their chicken because they say it don't have no, no, like it doesn't do anything for the chicken except it just spreads bacteria. Um, me personally, I'm going to wash my chicken though. Um, so y'all do whatever y'all want to do, but I'm going to wash my chicken. Wash it off. I'm thinking maybe I should have to go to tax for me and my brother. No, I think how little chicken it is. And I know he's probably going to want quite a few, especially since they're so small. So I probably should have took out two packs of water. Um, and I'm making my chicken off in cold water. I'm going to dry the chicken just lightly so it takes out. You know, so I don't want excess water. Dry the chicken, throw it away. Put it in this bowl. Put it in the bowl. Put it in there. Now the chicken's in the bowl. We're going to start seasoning it. Okay, now I'm gonna start seasoning it. Um, I'm gonna put some garlic powder in there. And I say, I'm not really doing measurements. I say just season to your liking. Um, some onion powder. Season to your liking, like I said. Lari seasoned salt. I usually don't cook with salt, so I'm not gonna put that much of this in there. That should be good. Um, some black pepper. Put some of that in there. red peppers just so it can have like a little spice uh, not too much of this you know just a little so it can have like a slight kick um, so like I said I'm gonna put a little bit of paprika in there just so it can have some coloring to it Some parsley fake flakes just to be pretty. Some extra. Okay, so that's it for my seasoning. Okay, so this is what my seasoning and what my chicken is looking like so far. I'm going to get a pair of tongs and I'm just going to start mixing it. Alright 
Okay, y'all, this is what it's looking like after being mixed. Um, you can put more seasoning on your chicken if you like. I'm not going to do it, though, because I feel like that's a pretty good amount of seasoning. Um, so, like I said, that's what my chicken is looking like. So we're going to start heating up the oil and I'm going to start putting chicken in there and um, probably try to do two or three at a time just so um, probably two at a time. Y'all they're about to take forever because I can't find a bigger bag. We're going to shake, shake, shake. Get it fully coated. Cream cheese that we're doing. There'll be a box Ready to boil, we're going to check on our chicken it's starting to look better, y'all. Starting to fry, uh, but we want it to be a little darker so it can be a little crispier. Okay, y'all. So I couldn't find no spinach, so we're doing some frozen fine green beans and we're going to. Um, fry them up. We're gonna make some garlic uh, green beans. We're gonna do that. So, for all this. Okay. So we've got the uh, green beans about to get started. I'm gonna do. Start off with some butter and garlic. Mix garlic first. Start that off. We're doing about two tablespoons of this. And we got this on like a medium minced garlic. Um, I'm just going to sprinkle some in here while this butter is melting. I don't do measurements unless there's a recipe to follow. So, um, unless I have a recipe that I'm following. I'm not going to have measurements for you guys. Like, I just eyeball it to whatever looks good to me. Um, so, we're just going to let this buttermilk pop it around a little bit. Just let it melting. Check on our chicken. Chicken is almost getting ready to be taken out. We're going to season the green beans. We're going to use some garlic powder, just a little bit since there's already um, garlic in there. That fresh garlic, we're going to do some Some onion powder. Onion powder, we'll do some black pepper. Mm, 
after this, I'm going to take this chicken out. So it's pretty much done. Um, and we'll do a little bit of this. Stir that up. Turn the front on a little bit. This chicken is ready to come out, y'all. So we're gonna take it out. Y'all see that goldenness? Y'all see it? I'm gonna bring it up a little closer to y'all. But that's some pretty golden chicken to me. Okay, so this is what the macaroni and cheese is looking like. We put a little bit of the Italian cheese on there, just added a little more cheese, black pepper, a little bit of paprika, just to put a little bit of color in there, and then some parsley flakes. And that's about to go in the oven for a little bit. Okay, y'all, this is the green beans. They're all done. Um, so we're just gonna put the top back on there just so they can stay warm. But other than that, they're all done. We're working on our last batch of chicken and waiting for the oven to preheat. All done. Um, this is it all done. Nice and crispy. Nice and crispy, golden. Um, so now I'm about to make a little bit of them ranch and then leave the other ones like plain. Um, or maybe I might put a little bit in barbecue sauce, but um, other than that, I'll probably have to do ranch and barbecue sauce and that's it. I need to put a little bit more grease so I can cover quite a few of them. And then I'm going to add a little more of the seasoning. Like I said, I don't want to do too much. That should be good for a couple of them. Okay, y'all, I done took the macaroni and cheese out the oven. Let's see what it's looking like. Oh, looking pretty good to me. Okay, y'all, so this is everything done. I am so ready to eat, y'all. This looks so good. So this is the ranch one. Plain and barbecue. And I'm going to try a wing of each so I can tell y'all. Macaroni and cheese look delish. In the green beans let me make a plate okay y'all I'm finally done with the dishes and stuff excuse my hair I know it's uh, crazy I'm my mom's gonna clip my ends when she gets off work but um so excuse my hair but let's try this food so let's try the macaroni first
good, good. Some green beans. Okay. Those, those are good, y'all. This is the so plan. Now That's some good chicken. I really don't fry chicken often because I just started eating chicken again. Like probably about like almost a week ago. So I really don't fry it that often. But that was the plain one. That was good. I'll rate it a seven out of ten just because it's plain, you know, just plain fried chicken. This is the ranch one. I like that. That's good. That's really good. Mm. And this is the barbecue one. Barbecue one is really, really good. They're all really good. Um, the ranch one, I'll probably rate that at 9 out of 10. Probably could use like a little bit more ranch seasoning, but other than that, it's good. The barbecue one, 8 out of 10. You know, just barbecue chicken wings. But overall, everything was good. Um, I'm going to go eat my food, enjoy it, and then I'll come back to y'all once I'm done. Okay, y'all. So I just finished making my dinner. I mean, not making my dinner. Eating my dinner. Um... It was really good. I think um, next time I'll make sure like the chicken is fried a little longer so it's going to be a little more crispy. Other than that, it was really, really good. I would rate it for everything an 8 out of 10. It was really, really good. Um, so if you like my meal, make sure you uh, like the video. Um, hopefully this helps someone. Um, make a easy meal because I am not a chef. I base I know how to do real simple things. Um, so this was like a little adventure for myself, and it did pretty well. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Um, thank you for watching my video, and I'll see you on my next one. Bye.